Uh, I think we, you know, I think we're doing a real good job of getting everybody to buy in and uh, everybody's on the same page. So I think, you know, we're doing a real good job and everybody's focused and Coach Saban's on us a lot. But uh, I think we're doing a good job and we're on a straight way train. What's he saying when he's on you? You know, just to make sure everybody's on the same page, to get everybody to buy in and make sure we're doing the right things like on the field so that we don't make too many mistakes. And uh, when you make mistakes, you know, it doesn't lead to good things. It seemed a little bit uh, heated, to say the least, when he came in yesterday. What, was he kind of critical sometimes, you know, the effort, maybe he's practice on a hot, hot day like, like yesterday? Yeah, sometimes, you know, when it's hot, you know, it's hard. But uh, I feel like, you know, we, we, we do our best, and he knows that. But some days, you know, we it's hot, and, you know, it's when you practice that night, you might get a better practice. But, you know, everybody's still trying. Everybody's working hard. You know it's hot. But, you know, we, he, you know Coach Saban, he's, he's going to be on us about that. He expects us to, do, you know, give our effort to every practice, and, you know, no matter the circumstance. So you're looking forward to tonight's practice then? Yeah, <laughs> of course. What's that like on practice under the lights? I mean, you know, it's obviously not the same as Brian Danny under the lights, but, you know, what's that like at night? Uh, it's just like a, game, a night game. <laughs> that's what we. That's why we do it. You know, you know when we practicing at night under the lights. You know we we we're gonna have about what, four or five six night games this year. So we go out there and we do it just so we can get ready for a night game. Hey, Devontae Smith is somebody that's been compared to your type of game. Do you see a lot of his game in your game? And yeah, he's uh Devontae Smith is doing really re very well. You know, he's uh, understanding his playbook. He's you know catching the ball. He's running, making big plays. So. You know, he's he's doing real good. How dangerous could this offense be? We can be very dangerous. We know we know our plays, you know. We just need to execute our plays well, you know, have trust in everyone on the field and just keep moving. Is it a lot more fun playing on an offense when there are a lot of options? Uh, I guess we had that last year. I don't, I, I, we had that last year. I think it's always fun to play. I, I love being on the field. That's, that's all that matters to me. Nick, Nick's made a, a point several times this, this uh, spring and, and summer that you know he wants to get more playmakers involved. Like he felt that wasn't a, as big a, a thing last year as he wants it to be in this new offense. Do you feel like what Brian has done and installed that there will be more guys involved, not just the same two or three? Uh, yeah, I definitely think so. I mean, I, f I feel like we we always got the ball around, but you know, one guy usually breaks out more than another, but. I feel like everybody's going to, you know, it's going to be good. You know, you guys are just going to have to see us out there. We've been working real hard, and I, I feel like we're ready to go out there. We're not ready yet, but we will be ready. Calvin, how do you see Diggs getting comfortable with that position compared to the spring where he is now? I think Diggs is a very good corner. You know, I can honestly say he, he gives me a hard time, you know, makes me better. He's very long. He's, you know, he works hard. He doesn't, you know, take too many plays off. So I think this is going to do great, and I, I'm, I'm rooting for him. I'm here for him. Did your receivers sort of give him grief when he switched over? No, nah, not really. We know. We don't do things like that here. We, uh, we expect, I expected him to go over there and, you know, do well. And, you know, Coach Saban talked to me about it and said they were going to switch him over. And I was like, yeah, you know. He was like, he think he can help us and contribute to the team this year. And I was like, all right. You know, he went over there and he did great things. And I, I, I respect him a lot for doing that. Is his confidence level, do you think, where it's supposed to be? Is he one of the more confident players in the field? Yeah, he's very confident in himself. And I, he, he should be. You know, he's a, he's a hard worker. He's a good player. And he, he makes plays. So I think he's, he's very confident in himself. Early this summer, you talked about becoming more of a leader, kind of embracing that role. Uh, part of that role is being on a leadership council. What, what is that responsibility like? And, and what kind of experience have you had already that maybe you know, you've dealt with Nick and had to go to teammates and you lay down the law a little bit? Uh, I mean, I just, uh, with being on the leadership role, you, you know, you, you got your position group, you got everybody, younger guys on the team, you got even older guys on the team. You just want to set an example for, for the younger guys and the, old, and the older guys who are not on the leadership. Is this this is how to how we do things, you know, this is the way you should do it, you know. Basically that's how we you know, as a leadership group we we want guys to look at us. Coach Saban said after the first scrimmage the offense maybe wasn't didn't have the rhythm he'd like it to have. What do you what do you think went wrong there? What do you think you guys can do to improve it uh, on Saturday? Uh I mean I, I what I think is the defense just had a good day. I mean, you know, sometimes the offense is gonna do good, sometimes the defense is gonna do good. I mean, I felt like they just had a good day. We 
we didn't make the plays we needed to make, but you know we got another scrimmage coming. I feel like we'll have a great day. Nick has also talked about uh, Jalen being better at decision making. Maybe not, you know, if one read or two read doesn't happen, he you know takes off and run. How have you seen that progress? Like his decide to sit in the pocket or decide to you know not just take off and run at the, the first time of pressure. Yeah, he uh, definitely does it better. Like I like I said, uh, Coach Brian, he does a great job with Jalen and Tua and Mac. And uh, they uh, they actually go through their progression, and and if it's not there, you know, they they take off and get that first down that we need. And you know, in the offense, we you know when you playing against all these good defenses in the SEC, you got a lot of good pass rushes. So we we need that running sometimes to get that first down. So it's always good to have a guy back there like that. As you see, do you appreciate when he can sit in and maybe step up in the pocket or oh yeah, some more time to get open? Oh yeah, of course. I love to get the ball. <laughs> <laughs> He mentioned, Coach Saban yesterday mentioned the freshman. He said several freshman receivers are really helping to give him competition and, and are going to be contributors. What if, uh, why don't you talk about those freshmen? Yeah. All our freshmen, is, uh, we got Jerry Judy, we got Henry Ruggs, Smitty, Terrell Shaver. Those guys, I mean, they're doing great, man. They, they come to work every day. They they're in their playbook. They know they know the whole concept. They know what they're doing. Coach Locks has faith in them. I have faith in them. So, you know, when we have those guys out there, it's, it's, we're not really missing nothing. And I got all the faith in the world in those guys. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. Thank you, guys.